Hello, my name is Corey Schakowsky. This is my EJD Middle School Technology class. It's a 20-week program, and I'm just going to run you through the classroom and show you the different projects that the kids make. Uh, I use blended learning to do this. Basically, I let the students run at their own pace throughout the entire course. Uh, eventually, at the end, they're all in different spots, but it really works out well. So take a tour with me through the class. This is my EJD site for just my classroom. And on this, it guides the kids through the course. So basically, they run across the top, and they do the different units that are there. A lot of times those will link off to my tech ed site where I host all the videos and how to do these projects. Uh, so if you see one that you're interested in, head over to techedlearning.com and there's more videos there that will help you out through the projects. My students first start off with uh, learning how to build their own websites on my computer in my computer lab here. And once they've done with that, they go through ruler reading, then they get into CAD. Uh, I use SketchUp for this free program. It's great for middle school. They'll design a three-piece puzzle. Once that's built, they'll use a document camera, take pictures. These are my thumb drives here so they don't walk away. They'll take uh, pictures of that and upload it to their site. The kids are required to have a page for each of their units that they do. So it works out pretty well. Heading over into the shop. I have some scroll saws and typical shop equipment. They said the first puzzle that, or first project that they work on in the shop is this three-piece puzzle. Here, it's pretty simple. It is a great introductory to woodworking. It uses most of the machines in the shop, and again, they're all the videos are on the Tech Ed site. Here are the tools laid out that they need, so I can. They're in bins, so I can put them away quickly. When they, when all the kids are done with that project, I just put these away, and then I bring out other bins for the next project. Once they're done building the puzzle, they go through what I call a home repair unit, where the kids will learn how to take care of their homes and how to do some of the basic things in a house. This unit here, or these two units here go over how to hook up supply lines and shut off valves and how to thread pipe onto a faucet. Over here they learn how to do a simple toilet repair and you can see how easy it actually is to fix things in their own house. These are drain traps over here so all the parts are laid out underneath and they simply take and watch the videos. There's videos for all of these by the way on the Tech Ed site. All you have to do is uh, watch those and it shows them how to put them together. These are all the tools that they need for a sheetrock unit. They first cut a 12 inch by 12 inch piece of sheetrock. Their four foot strips are over there so they cut it 12 by 12. Use a screw gun to mount it to the uh, board here, the frame that I have. They knock a hole in the middle of it and then use the uh, tools to fix those. From there they go to electrical. After watching the videos, they take and feed wires into the switch box, into the light box, make all the proper connections. They have to show me their connections before they push anything into the boxes. Once it's complete, we hook it up to a 12 volt power supply. And I found Ace Hardware has uh, RV light bulbs that run on 12 volts. That way we keep the voltage down for safety. At this point in time, all the kids are done with the three-piece puzzles, so those bins go away, and I bring out other bins that they contains all the parts that they need to build the Tech Ed Speedster, which is right here. This is a great project. The kids really love it. They take it home when they're done, and they paint it up. They bring it back, and we have a, a race day where we all compete our cars. The simple switch on it. See, these batteries are kind of dead, but they'll clear this 18-foot track in about two seconds. A great project. I think it's better than a CO2 car because they can take it home and still use it. I do guide this, the cars down the track using a string here. That way they're not bouncing all over the place, but it's not really necessary if you have a single track. Once they're done with this, we start our EV3 Lego unit. And most students will start this unit in the computer lab, but however, it's not necessary and those that run through the course quickly have more time with robotics 
So the blended learning really does a nice job inside a technology class to allow kids that are excelled and to have more time on the robotics and the kids that are new to all the uh, you know shop equipment or whatnot uh, to take their time. They, their safety videos on the website as well that they use before they use the machines. So blended learning really is a perfect tool for teaching a technology class. Now uh, you can shoot me an email if you have any other questions on what we're doing here in class and you can find my email address right on my TechEd site. So again, go to techedlearning.com. Thanks for watching.